Hello out there, this is Turcano, and welcome back to RxCraft. We are now up to episode 11, and we're picking up now, after a couple of projects, and following the end of Salt Lake Comic Con. So I'm going to end up uh, interspersing a little bit of video I took, mostly of me wandering through crowds, um, and I will have links to a few of the videos that Amaros was able to record uh, while we were all there. But we need to do a little more work here. With the infinite bottle generator going so much, it's been eating a lot of the power out of the capacitor bank beneath the floor here. So we need to make a few changes. So I noted with this uh, power monitor here, it has a redstone tab that can. That one doesn't do me good. Um, by default, this thing's set to 75. I was tinkering with this to see how far it actually would go but don't feel like actually wiring this specific one up. But you can actually have it send out a signal when it gets drops to a certain point, um, and then turn off, or stop sending a signal when it's filled. So basically, you can have it automatically turn generators back on. So I'm going to end up building um, some generators right in this area right here, below the floor, um, specifically as a bank to fuel that capacitor bank right there. So let me get that dug out and put together and here they are so it's just a miniature dynamo bank only got four down here for this I've hooked up a another uh, power monitor right here this one's specifically tied to that capacitor bank so it will uh, turn these on when it gets too low uh, specifically it's set to 50% um, and the big point about having insurance that that thing always stays on are those. We don't want those lights turning off as then this room turns into a mob generation room and we don't want that. So we got the water coming in from the reservoir over there. I pulled in a fuel line running from over there as you can see. So it is all set in place. So just need to close this up and it is set to go. So now I can just set and set it and forget it and don't have to worry about it. I have the second one up here so I can see it myself. I shouldn't need to really worry about it much. This is mostly just so I can still see whenever I want to check and see where the one beneath the floor is at. I don't have one tied up over here simply due to the fact that I can just look at it and I use it for charging my armor and other gear. So not a great amount of uh, requirement for worrying about this one. But we have that. I've added a couple caches over here uh, for my heal potions. Probably end up adding a couple more for other potions so I can just have a you know bank of potions here as to back up but we are making preparations now for hitting the end and then we can work on uh, recreating another mob farm that we've uh, found uh, builds for but we need to be able to get to the end and deal with the ender dragon so that is all that we're really worrying about right now so I'm gonna just cut to a couple of other videos we have um, one is uh, all of it really is dealing with the end. The one, the second one will be a little anticlimactic, but on to the first. Since I now have such a crazy surplus of ender pearls from my ender hunting nights, I'm now heading out to the end portal, and I'm going to turn that sucker on. Not going in yet. I am so not prepared for that. But. I can at least get it turned on. You'll notice that I have a little bit of a speed boost now with uh, a few upgrades I've gotten. But my entire point here is to get this thing up and going. Doot, doot, boom. It is live. Now I shall back ways. Ah, screw it. I'm gonna back way fast. Goodbye. We'll come back to that later.
So now you've seen my two little clips. These were both uh, filmed during the last week-ish, um, in between uh, trying to do the last episode. So, a little bit, you know, Hayfire. Second one, as I said, a bit anticlimactic, considering the fact that, well, we were using ceiling tiles in the nether to kill those. Yeah, it was the easy way. But, that leaves me now with three nether stars, and now I can go build my beacons and figure out where I'm going to place those. So, I get to probably go stick those down in my mine, in the base mine, and figure it out from there. But, for the moment, I'm going to cut to some of my little short videos that I uh, clipped at Comic-Con. Again, these are just me wandering through crowd. So hopefully that insanity made some sense. But if you've not seen the Salt Lake Comic Con, now you get an idea of the insanity we've had this week, last weekend. It was fun. But back here with the bottle generator, decided to make another improvement. Decided it wasn't going quite fast enough. I just want to fill this entire thing up. So add another transposer. That should double my output since this thing is backed up like crazy, as you can see here. So, we should be able to get that going a little bit faster now. And as you can see here, this one point here is now filled with all five of the potential conduits. So, we have power, redstone, liquid, item, was that all of them? One, two, three. Four. Hmm. Oh, it looks like there was only four in there. Oh, right, there's... I'm not using the fifth. But, so yeah, there's four of them in there. But then it's got input on this side, output on this side, because that's how the thermal expansion stuff works. And then I now have a direct input into the cache, and this is specifically filtered for water bottles. So this thing will be getting specifically the empty bottles. All right, that is done, and I can close this back up. Do, 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 do. I've also gone ahead and added efficiency onto the uh, four dynamos here on the floor, and now I'm digging out a new a space for power banks. So I'm gonna end up pushing the room back out as I initially plan to, which means I get to start modifying the look of the mountain on the outside. Looks like it's night. Let's go take a look really quick. Yeah, it's night. So I'm not going to do any building right now since it'll just get too annoying. So we're going to wait for day and then see about extending the room a little bit. So got distracted from everything back at the base, long since ran out of oil, I know that Am is actually getting low on fuel from what I've been hearing from him. So I've been out here in the middle of the ocean constructing another oil platform. So this was a uh, larger oil spew, so hopefully it'll provide us a decent amount of oil once this is going. Yeah, set my block over here. Dink. Um. So that is a dimensional anchor. It is a chunk loader. So that will just make sure that everything here stays running when I'm not here. 
And where did... Oh. Yes, I'm being completely observant here. Can you tell? Let me just grab the extra little pieces here. Alrighty. Grab my lever and redstone. And I can turn this all on. And right now, we are actually way the heck in the middle of nowhere. So you can see, there's a one a little oil there. Some oil's like way back near base, I believe that one is. If I actually go and turn on the waypoint, actually, I can just show you that. So yeah, there's the, way, the waypoint at the longhouse, which is 2,600 blocks away. So it's a long way out. And even this portal, which I've already built here, this still takes me a little bit of a run to get back to base from here. So we're gonna leave this thing running and get back to base. I also marked myself some horses since me and Anne were looking for horses. There's a whole bunch of them over in that direction there. Whites, browns, blacks. Actually, before I finish here, I'm gonna build the platform just a little bit larger. Uh, give me a moment. Alright, so not very much was done. I'm not gonna build a complete platform like I've done uh, previously, just enough to be able to have a space to walk around. Um, this is just for, you know, landing here. Oops, I dropped some. Whee! But that's all it takes here of here, and I've got the wall in the back there so you don't fly off into the ocean when you come through here. I should probably... Whoa! Hello up there. And apparently I'm missing arrows. That's... that's fantastic. Um... Hold on. Well, it took me about, oh, 20 shots or so, because the thing was apparently just too high. But I won. Of course, it made a heck of a divot outside the portal here. I better build an enclosure here so I don't have to worry about that kind of problem going forward, because that could get messy. Oh, yes, another fortress. Look at that. So I want to prove some potions of regeneration, and for that I'm going to need gas tears, so I'm heading into the nether uh, to a plane near Amaros's base to hunt some gas and probably kill whatever else happens to be in range. So we'll be back after that. So I ended up with three gas tiers and a few other things. I got some wither skulls around here someplace. So I think we're set for the time being. But that's all I've got for now. So I'm going to call it into this episode and come back and finish up a couple of our projects uh, next. So for now, this is Turconil signing off.